Today is going to be another chit chat with K video. I feel like I haven't filmed a chit chat video in so long, but today I'm going to be talking about my goals for 2017. Please don't forget to click the button down below and subscribe to my channel before you leave. And if you would like to learn about some of my goals, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the first goal that I have is like a very typical, very cliche goal that I feel like everyone has for the new year, but then they never do it, and that is to drink more water. I actually have been drinking a lot more water, like water is pretty much all that I drink while I'm in school, and I've been doing a really good job. Like today, I drink soda, but I haven't had soda since like, I don't know how long. Well, I did have soda like a week ago because I had some ginger ale because I wasn't feeling good, so I drank some for that reason. But other than that, I haven't really been drinking anything except for water, so I just want to continue that, and I want to continue drinking more water, having more water in my daily routine just because water has been doing really good for my skin and just making me feel better overall. So I want to continue doing that. And then, of course, I want to start going to the gym more often. I said that this quarter I was going to figure out a healthy gym schedule, and I have not done that yet, and we're already at midterm, so I've been failing in that department. I'm trying really hard, but it's just like, I kind of figured it out, and I went once, and then I went again, but then I had homework, and then I got sick, so it's just like, now I'm trying to figure out a really healthy balance between my schoolwork and my social life and work so that I can actually go to the gym and get more active. I also want to start stretching more because you guys know that I used to be a cheerleader in high school and we used to stretch every day and I used to be somewhat flexible like I could move my body around a little bit and my legs and stuff but now it's just like mm -mm, girl you need to stop before you pull a muscle because it's not even cool. Like we went to Get Air, which is a trampoline park the other day for our friend Chelsea's birthday. And we're like, oh, let's do toe touches, let's do jumps. Cause you know, we're like on the trampoline so I wanna bounce around. No, my body was killing. I was like, no, we need to sit down. We need to stretch our legs a little bit before we try to do the toe touch. But yeah, I wanna go to the gym more. And then while we were at Get Air, we were literally all dying, like out of breath. We were tired. I'm like, oh my God, I'm so out of shape. Like, like, I can't even bounce around at a trampoline park for long because, like, I need to, like, sit down and catch my breath, you know? So, that is a goal that I have for the new year. I want to get more active, get more in shape. I've said this so many times before and I have not figured it out because school literally makes me feel so tired. Like, I'm always doing something and then I get really tired. Like, right now, Devin is at the gym and I'm sitting here, like, talking to you guys. I'm like, listen, I'm in full makeup because I was working on a project today and now I want to film. So, I'm not going to the gym, but I should be at the gym. But yeah, you know, we're working on it. It's a new year. It's going to be lit. So the next thing that I have been working towards doing is doing things early. I want to start doing things early in terms of my schoolwork and also like filming videos and stuff for you guys because I've been like really late. Even with my Etsy glam bag unboxings, I'm like unboxing December's at the end of January and I just unboxed my January one today at the end of January. Like now it's almost February so it's just like I want to do a better job with doing things early or you know doing them a little bit earlier if I I can say that I don't want to just keep doing things super late I feel like I need to get on it I actually feel a little bit accomplished because I filmed like a Valentine's Day makeup look the other day and that's gonna be up like this week coming up so it'll be up a couple of days before Valentine's Day not like two days before it'll be up like a week before so I felt good about that and I've also been doing really good with my work as well. I haven't been having to do a lot of work at the last minute. You guys know I was all about all-nighters my first year here because I didn't know how to stop procrastinating. Like I always get my work done but I always would die doing it because I would wait until the last minute and I would underestimate how long it would take me to do something and I've been trying to not do that so that I can produce my best work. 
and actually take my time with it. So I've been doing a really good job. I have my first photo class this quarter as well because my minor is fashion photography. So I'm getting more into taking photos and actually sitting down and like thinking about taking pictures and taking my time when I have to take pictures. And we can only take like a certain amount of pictures for the project. So it's just like I can't just like click, 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 click like I'm used to. So now I'm actually taking time. I'm stepping back. I'm doing things a lot more thoughtfully, I guess you can say. So I want to do things early. I don't want to wait until the last minute. I want to produce my best work. I want to do better. So that's like a really big goal for me this year because I'm getting into all of my major classes. So I really want to get as much as I can out of this time. So I want to just make sure I step back, take my time, soak it all in and not like rush through it the night before and have to pull an all nighter. And then the next day I'm like all off because I haven't slept. So yeah, I've been doing a really good job with not having to pull all nighters. So I'm really proud of that. Another goal for me is to continue being consistent. I've been doing a fabulous job, if I may say so myself, by posting three videos a week and being a full-time student and having basically a full-time job and having a social life. So I feel like I've been doing a good job with that and I still am alive pretty much. I'm not like too burnt out and I'm not always like excessively tired like I do get tired and I do sometimes feel like I don't want to do things but I'm still here I'm still making it I'm not having a lot of downtime so I mean I can't complain I'm staying busy which is pretty much a goal in itself I like when I'm busy because that means I'm doing something productive and I'm getting things done so I'm really happy with that and I just want to continue being consistent with my videos because making these videos makes me really happy so I want to always make sure I include something in my routine that keeps me happy so that I'm not just feeling like oh I have so much homework and then oh I have to go to work and then oh now I have to go to sleep like no I don't want to be that boring girl that doesn't get to do what makes me happy so even though doing these videos takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of energy and a lot of patience, but I still want to keep posting three videos a week because I want to continue to grow, I want to continue to expand, I want to do bigger and better things on my channel. So I'm going to keep pushing myself to keep making these videos and doing the best I can with pre-filming like a bunch of videos at one time because I like doing that because I usually don't sit down and film until I really have like a lot of time to film. So when I have a lot of time, I like to make use of that time. So I usually film like four to five videos at once. Like when I sit down for one sitting, I usually film like four to five videos. So it's not like I'm just sitting down to film like one video for you guys every time I get the chance to sit down and film. No, I make sure that I make the best out of my filming time and I film as much as I can. I plan it all out, I write it down to make sure I don't leave anything out and make sure I film all the videos that I need to film. So I'm really, really, really working hard to do that for you guys and I'm gonna keep it pushing for 2017. And my next goal coincides with my last goal. I want to create better content and learn new things. So I wanna keep growing as far as how my content is. I'm pretty much at a good place. I like the way my videos come out. I like the way my footage comes out, but I don't want to just like something and then stay there. I want to keep learning. I want to keep growing. I want to keep progressing. And I've been learning a lot of new things. I'm about to switch to a new editing software. So that'll be like a transition for me. So I'll step up in the category of editing and then I'll still be using the same camera. But like I said, I have my first photo class this quarter. So I'm learning a lot about my camera that I didn't know before. I really want to continue doing outfit videos. Like outfit of the day videos are my new favorite thing. So I want to continue those and just force myself to keep being creative, keep thinking of new ways to make these videos and put new outfits together and get new clothes and find new locations. So I'm just like kind of pushing myself to keep moving forward and to keep doing big things. So the next thing that I have on my list, cause yes, I did write a list. I didn't want to leave anything out. The next thing I have is to start doing portraits. So I'm a fashion photography minor. So photography isn't even my major, but photography is something that is like very very important to me like it's like so close to my heart like you saw that like I had to grab my chest just to even think about what to say 
but I love taking photos I love taking videos I love doing all of these things with photography and I sat for a portrait for one of my friends who is a photo major she's like come please like I need models you know and I'm like okay like I love being in front of the camera anyway so I was like of course and after I sat down with her and I took photos with her and I watched her take photos of other people, she was just really inspiring me to get into portraits. Like I want to start taking pictures of people, I want to start being more creative, I want to start styling people and photographing them because ultimately that's what my minor is going to be. So I'm really trying to get into portraits this year and I've been doing a good job so far. I've been taking pictures of a lot more people. I've been taking pictures of Devin a lot because I mean look at him like he has this cool hair and he's always wearing something cool so I'm like yeah you're gonna be like my go-to model. I've been using some of my other friends as well and I've just been having like a new fun like I've been I've been experiencing like a new feeling when it comes to like photography because I usually would take pictures of events or of landscapes mainly just things that look nice. I never thought that I wanted to like actually take pictures of people but now I want to take pictures of people so I've been really into that and I can't wait to continue working this year and continue learning and that's really one of my biggest goals because you can make a lot of money too just by doing portraits because some people always need portraits and that could be something else that I could dip into so I'm really excited for that. I want to start to take more time for myself. I really don't have a lot of time ever to do anything for myself. I've been doing a pretty good job with just taking time to go get my nails done and sometimes me and Infinity go together. I pretty much use that time as time for myself. I mean, I'm getting my nails done, I'm pampering myself, so every two weeks I'll do that. But other than that, I really don't take time for myself. I don't do anything that I really want to do to like relax other than like watch movies or hang out with my friends so I just want to take more time to myself pamper myself I don't know maybe I'll learn like how to do some facials at home some DIY facials maybe I'll have like some new videos coming at y'all soon about that I just want to pamper myself more make myself feel nice I guess and just you know keep myself up pretty much so that's a goal that I have for this year. I want to continue to make sure I stay on top of things. Doing my hair is always fun, even though it takes forever and I get tired. So I'm just like, uh, let me just get my nails done, my feet done, do a facial, clear my skin. I don't know. I just want to, you know, have time for myself more. I'm pretty sure you guys understand what I'm trying to say. Maybe I need to like take a day to just sleep in sometimes because I'm always getting up early because I always have something to do. I always have somewhere to be. But like I said, that's a goal in itself to stay busy because I always like to keep myself busy so that I keep myself being productive and active and doing different things and staying involved. But I need to find a healthy balance between doing that and also taking time for myself. So we'll see how this goes in the new year. I also want to save and make money this year. I want to learn more about how to actually budget. I want to learn how to budget in a more professional way, I guess you could say. I just want to actually learn how to manage my money, like money that I'm making myself, not just money that like my parents are giving me or my family is giving me or money that I get like for Christmas or for my birthday or whatever. Like I want to actually make my own money and learn how to manage it. So that's one thing that I'm interested in doing this year. And I also want to start crocheting for the summertime. So if you haven't seen my OOTD crochet bathing suit cover up made by me, then you need to go check that out. I crocheted my own cover up and I wore it in the Bahamas and literally everyone in the Bahamas stopped me and was like, oh my God, your cover up is so cute. I'm like, thanks, I made it. And they're like, what? you made that and I'm like yeah and they're like no way I'm like yes I made it so I want to crochet for other people which is a challenge for me because crocheting is something that I just do for fun and I've just been like winging it and figuring it out on my own and just like measuring and pulling things on my body and like figuring out what works what doesn't what fits what doesn't and I want to actually learn how to make clothes for other people so that's something that I'm interested in and then after I put the video out everyone was literally like I need one and I'm just like oh my god like I'm so overwhelmed with all these people that want one 
and I have never like made clothes for other people before so that's just something that I want to try to play around with I feel like that's also a way that I could be making money this summer and it's like February now so I could be getting ready for that now and like start taking orders so that I could be working now in between time and yeah I just think I want to do a lot more crocheting I think I'm going to be including more crocheting onto my channel because I mean yeah I want to make clothes for other people but I also want to make clothes for myself so I feel like I could benefit from making things for myself and sharing how to do that with you guys because I know a lot of people out there want to learn how to crochet I'm not a crochet expert or anything I've just been like trying to figure this out on my own and like looking up tutorials myself so I feel like if I come up with something and I want to share it with you guys I'm gonna start doing more crochet with K videos because that was like a segment that I started and then like never actively kept up on my channel and I do want to start doing those again it's just the fact that crocheting takes a really long time so the video will be very spread out because of my schedule so it'll be like me filming the intro one day and then showing like the first couple of steps and then like showing a little bit of progress and then not showing like the finished product until like a week later because it takes a long time and I usually don't have that kind of time so it would be like ongoing projects but I mean Everything can be done with editing. I just know that it'll be like projects that'll be like week long projects for just one video and that's like not something that I'm used to doing but I want to get into more Crochet with K videos so if you like Crochet with K give this video a thumbs up and let me know. I know the first video that I did was just basic and it was just showing like a basic stitch and that's pretty much where I'm going to pick up. I'm going to go through all the other basic stitches that I know and do little videos on those before I actually do something like a project. So stay tuned for that. I'm excited and that's like another big goal for me. I want to continue to spark my creative juices because I'm not a fashion design major. I'm a fashion marketing major so now I'm getting more into like my business classes and I took an intro to fashion class last quarter and that was like intro to fashion design and they just make all fashion students take it just to spark your creativity and get you into the industry kind of and so we had to actually design clothes we had to draw we had to make garments and stuff and now that i'm not doing that i'm like missing it i'm like i want to challenge myself i want to make things i want to keep sparking my own creativity so i'm going to continue that and Hopefully I get somewhere. Hopefully I learn some new cool patterns. I've been trying to like figure things out on my own and everything is basically like trial and error at this point with crocheting. So it's just like a learning process pretty much, but I'm really excited to continue doing it. And I hope that you guys are looking forward to more crochet with K. So that was my last goal for 2017. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also leave me a comment down below with some of your goals for 2017. Let me know what you're trying to accomplish or what you're trying to change about your lifestyle. And don't forget to click the button down below and subscribe to my channel before you leave. And I will see you in my next video.